<laughs> yes, we yes. did. And it was a lot of fun. It was. Ton, tons of research. Just real quickly, I'll give you the update. Just on pilots alone, uh, you know, first of all, it's all about actual factual data, when you, especially when you work with John Lasseter. So you've got to get your facts right. There's no faking that kind of stuff. So pilot-wise, we went out and spoke to, you know, civilian pilots mm -hmm. and military pilots, uh, race pilots, agricultural pilots, helicopter pilots, uh, balloon pilots, glider pilots, and the list mm -hmm. goes on and on and on as far as just getting all that kind of jargon, flight dynamic of what they experience and how the aircrafts work. It's a great question. Uh, once again, it's all based on fact. Now, we knew that Dusty was going to sort of, it's Dusty's story. So he was a different, he's a certain type of aircraft, a certain type of engine. Actually, technically, it's a PT-6 turbine gas engine. So we knew that in his, in his type of aircraft, he could hold so much gas. So we sat down with a group of pilots, about six of them, and we were like, okay, if you had this airplane, how could you fly around the world? And they were like, well, you'd have to go to New York, and then you'd have to stop in Iceland, and then you would have to go to Germany and then Nepal. So they actually helped chart out that route, and that's exactly how we came up with the race route. Oh, my yes, gosh. Yes, many. All our consultants. Yeah, I think when Clay talks about the research we do early on, the research doesn't end after that first conversation. We'll go implement it into the film, work it through, bring them back, yeah, get, get their feedback, and the cycle and goes on. Bring them in and take a look at what we've done. I like the F-18s, but I also think a Shawnee's plane is so interesting. Like, she's so beautiful, and it feels like I just want to glide through the countryside with her. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, personally for me, I, I've had this love of aviation. I'm not sure if you know about my background, but I, I love, I grew up in an aviation family. My dad was a pilot. Grandpa was a pilot. They passed that love on to me. And uh, I've long loved airplanes my whole life. So what I enjoyed most about the film was to be able to combine my love of airplanes with my love of drawing and animation, have those two worlds collide, and end up with a movie that I'm very proud of that embraces basically not only just the heritage of flight, but the magic of flight, you know, being driven by this interesting story of this small town character that ends up going around the world. Um, yeah, I mean, there's little pieces of, you know, as you write a script or as you write a movie, there's little things that come up that somebody has said once in your life or, or, you know, little pieces that you hang on to. And then certainly the Skipper character in the movie was very much like my dad, sort of a tough love kind of guy. I knew, you know, he was always behind me, he always supported me, but he was tough love. And, and that certainly informed m the writers and myself on how to approach that character. You know, I think at the, at the core of it, we hope people feel the heart of the movie and that they they get the core message of, you know, you can be more than you're built for. Um, you can apply that to so many different things in life, and it's just kind of a universal message that we hope comes across. I would change yeah. three or four sequences in the film. It, the film plays really well, and I'm very happy with the end result. But the reality here is, especially in filmmaking, you're never done. They just, just, she just I take she, it out she, of she his hands. Out. She, <laughs> she pulled the film away from me, so I was told I was done. But that's a creative thing. Yeah.